right about that. Where'd you sign us? You had to know how hard this is going to be. Because two kids from Queens had dreams about being the next gods of rock. That is who you are. What happens next? You do. Tim, Jeremy, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, man, thank you so much for joining me today. I love this film. I can't tell you how many memories this brought back. I'm Generation X, so I was my childhood came back. You know, Tim, what a tribute to your father, you know, co-founder, uh, excuse me, founder of Casablanca Records, of which I own many titles when I was a kid. I'm telling you in the 70s. I mean, where did you begin to tell his story? I mean, this was what, 25 years in the making? Yeah, it was, it was actually 20, 24. I, I set it up for the first time in 1999. But, but you know, um, even before that, uh, very quickly after he passed away, people thought, oh, this is this, this guy is an, an incredible story. I mean, where, where it began was just trying to figure out what it really was about, ultimately. I mean, there are so many phenomenal, great movie stories and and, and that were exciting to, to tackle and incredible music artists, but what was it about, ultimately? And ultimately, it was about um, these people that had been lost to history, um, who were remarkable dreamers, who discovered these other folks who may very well have been lost to history had they not met these other dreamers. Um, and it was the the just the, the power of, of one understanding their own power and their own gifts. Um, that became the story. I, I wanted to understand where it all came from, not where it ended up. I thought we kind of knew where it ended up. Um, and, and that sort of drove everything. And then it was just about finding, like any biopic I think is about sculpting, not painting. What do you lose to get to the, to get to the art uh, as opposed to what, what do you add? Take us through that process, because I understand Neil needed a life force, you know, a special kind of life force. And I, I hear you were up to the challenge. <laughs> yeah, uh, Neil was often described as a perpetual motion machine. He just didn't stop. And, uh, you know, I'm not really like that in real life. So I had to conserve a lot of my energy during the day and then show up when the camera hit and go, ah! you know. Uh, but it's fine. I'm used to that. I do eight shows a week on Broadway a lot. So, you know, that's kind of that's kind of my vibe. But I mean, it was really um, it was it, it was not daunting because it was made really um, it was a really welcoming and sort of creative, collaborative environment that Tim helped create. Um, and we kind of made with each other with all the actors on the set and um and we just played, you know, and, and we discovered these characters in the room, you know, and, and, you know, we do your research beforehand, but Tim was not really interested in, in, you know, copying and pasting, a, a, the, you know, the, the, the real human, he wanted their essence and uh, wanted our interpretations of it because, you know, as you say in the movie, it's more fun to tell a story when it's something that is, that is exciting to you. And it's something that, you know, is the, that feels you know, real and and strange and different and interesting. And 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 Neil was such a energetic person. He could he can't help but tell this story in the most energetic and uh, maybe somewhat embellished way as possible. <laughs> I was going to say, Tim, you have dramatic license, right? There's music mythology. There's a mixture of truth and fiction. You know, uh, I think that's what legends are made of, right? <laughs> I, I do think it's what, what legends are made of, but but you know the. The essence of every one of those stories and the actual facts that come out of every one of those stories really, really did happen. But the the way sort of I, I really looked at it was at any night at Studio 54, if you were on one corner, you saw a different night than if you were on the other corner, which was the real version. It all happened that night. It's just what your particular experience was. And I think memory is funny that way. Um, and so it, all of these events occurred, um, whether we had to you know, truncate some, put some together or not, but ultimately it was what it felt like and what I think Neil was remembering about what was important of those moments. And I think those became enhanced. Um, and I think that was very much part of what um, the power of this character that, that Jeremy, Jeremy portrayed so beautifully um, ultimately conveys. Well, they're wrapping me up here, guys. You know, it's impossible to talk about this movie in four minutes. And I can't believe we did a little bit of a dent because this is such an amazing film. What a great legacy for your family, you know, Tim. So congratulations. You too, Jeremy. You were just fantastic. And uh, thanks, thanks so much Jeff. for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Pleasure.